So basically, stop or get fired. And just to add insult to injury, they basically told me I would get exercised from the building. I met this guy on a goth dating site. Things were going pretty well, so he invited me over to his apartment. Things got interesting. He nibbled on my ear. I may have nibbled on his neck a little rougher than he's used to, but you can't get me all worked up and expect me not to indulge myself. So he gets all freaked out, tells me to leave, says not to contact him again. Well, I tried emailing, texting, leaving voicemails. Then I went by his house, floated outside his window a couple times, which finally got a response. He called me a bitch and said that if I contact him again, he's going to get a restraining order. A restraining order. I totally know where you're coming from. I live in this apartment complex, and, and there's these bratty kids that live downstairs. And all night long, run, 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 yell, 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 yell. All the time, nonstop. And nobody says a damn thing about that. One night a month. One night, one, one night a month under a full moon, I go out and I howl a little bit. And I get a note from the landlord that says, you do it again, you're evicted. Can you believe that? I agree, it is hardly fair. But we are who and what we are, and that's okay. Remember that, guys. Does anyone else have anything to say? Yeah, I've got something to say. You're all insane. The lot of you. There's no such thing as vampires or werewolves or anything else you're pretending to be. You've got a mask on. You don't have any fangs. You can't see. You have toilet paper all over you. You're fine. You can speak. You're not a zombie. You don't have any rot. It's face makeup. You guys are an hour overtime. There's other people coming in. You all need to get your shit and leave. Or I'm going to call the cops. Dick. Bite me. That was fun. We should do this again next week. Guys? Guys? Where are you?